Hey Leo, welcome to your reading for August 2023. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. Happy birthday, Leos. Um, we are going to see what's going on for you guys for the month. So take what resonates. Obviously, leave the rest. You guys can check out your sun, your moon, your rising sign. Let's see. We have denial here. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with insight of awareness. And we have acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Bottom of the deck, we have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Okay, so some of you could be having like fear come up here for you uh, this month in some way around a situation. But I feel like you're almost trying to work through it as well as like you're becoming aware of your fears or aware of a fear and this acceptance I almost feel like comes into the aspect of um, like almost you know when you like I'm trying to put this into words but it's like you know when you fear something and it's like it hasn't even like fear is something that hasn't happened yet right or something that has happened but you're like putting that outcome onto a new situation um, I almost feel like you're realizing like the situation is going to play out as it does or as it will and it's like you can't really do anything about it all you can do is go forth persevere work through the situation as you can and you know kind of like let the chips fall as they may like kind of having to surrender a little bit to the process here but i feel like you're very aware of potentially things that are holding you back or again fear-based thinking that sort of thing let's see what the tarot has for you leo what does leo need to know for august 2023 we have the two of swords seven of cups ten of pentacles ten of swords ace of cups death card i like that seven of pentacles ace of pentacles Four of Swords crossing. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Hermit here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. I feel like you're going through a really personal transformation here, like within yourself here, Leo. Um, I think you're definitely getting out of a mindset here with this Ten of Swords, the Death card, really transmuting and coming from like a more heart space or a heart centered space rather than like a mental space. Um, maybe coming at it from more of an, of an emotion. Some of you maybe have had your heart kind of blocked off a little bit, um, but you're starting, you're working on that or you've been working on that and going through this transformation, really doing lots of reflection here with this hermit energy here. There definitely is like some sort of like new thing that you're investing your time and your energy into with this seven of pentacles and these ace of pentacles that I just feel is, again, bringing a sense of peace. Some of you as well, like if there's something that you're working on um, financially or within your career or just like a level of your life that you wanna get to, right? It's almost like this mindset has been holding you back. The thoughts, the illusions, okay? Two of Swords, Seven of Cups, like the illusions around how things are going to turn out or how things are going to move forward it's like there's been this um there's but there's been something holding you back from really diving into what you want to dive into here and I, again i feel like you're working on this or you've been working on this or you're really transmuting that this month um this could be around money specifically i mean venus is retrograde and it is in your sign so this does have us reevaluating our values what's important to us um, material things, right? Because it is Venus energy. But I almost feel like once you can kind of bring some, some, some sense of peace or calmness to your mind, then that's when you're going to have the energy and the time to put energy into this new Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles type of energy here. It's like you're trying to get to this Ten of Pentacles, but it's like you haven't maybe started yet because things have kind of been getting in the way when it comes to, again, mindset, I feel like, or thoughts or what you think is possible versus not possible and this could be like really diving into like where these things even stem from to begin with right so like how you're brought up is it society whatever 
So I feel like you're opening yourself up in ways that are allowing you to grow and expand either financially, materially. Um, some of you are also learning how to like work smarter and not harder, like, and maybe even having more time to rest or taking up. Sorry, Leo. Um, I got interrupted by a phone call. Um, yeah, some of you could be learning how to rest more and like not either not having to put so much energy into something or it's like you're being smarter about how you use your energy okay let's see what this ten of pentacles is here for you leo yeah two of pentacles like maybe trying to figure out how to balance it all too i feel like it's almost like how to make it and how to figuring out how to make it all work we do have the ace of swords like you're trying to gain clarity around like how do i create this life that i'm looking for right you know that i can have long term that brings me a sense of like legacy legacy and stability right clarify this eight of pentacles ace of cups for leo five of pentacles yeah i almost feel like you've been working on this like sense of lack or self-doubt like really i almost feel like there's a self-care aspect here of like really pouring into self and um, either working on self-worth, again, like I was saying, like the, all that Venus type of energy, like working on self, working on what you feel you're worthy of, or working on your mindset when it comes to money and like opening yourself up to more things, right? More abundance, right? Those types of things. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles here for Leo. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is almost saying um, with this Seven of Pentacles, it's like, do, does what I'm putting my time and energy fulfill me? Like, do when I'm putting my time and my energy into things, is it fulfilling me? Um, because it's like you want things to... I feel like you want things to move forward in, in a peaceful way, kind of. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, the sun. It's like what you're investing into, is it investing in you? Like, is it bringing you value? Whether that's like love, happiness, joy, money, like is it bringing you and filling up your cup? Like some of you could be looking at like, looking at a new way of making money because like the way that you've been making money has been draining you mentally emotionally physically right and it hasn't been filling you up and you've become very depleted and very um run down by the way that things have been going why is this four of swords here for leo yeah hierophant it's like you've learned your lesson you're at peace with like this i want to say this like new way of doing things and i feel like you're starting a new cycle we've had the ace of swords pop up kind of twice here but we have this ten of swords so it's like you're kind of starting a new cycle and i feel like you're a lot more clear on what you're where you're trying to go and kind of leaving aspects behind so this kind of feels like a, a venus upgrade in some way what's the outcome here for leo this month with this the outcome king of cups ace of wands and the strength card so another ace we're getting a lot of aces i also have the empress so there's definitely kind of this fresh energy here um i feel like a lot of you are going to gain a lot of your creativity back um you're going to feel a lot more passion and a emo more emotionally um under control in a way like um just like feeling better within self is kind of what I'm getting like and, and in that I mean usually we have this feeling of like our emotion like our our emotions feeling you know like we've we've mastered an aspect of self but some of you are really getting your passion your creativity back um, especially with this empress energy and the magician for sure um, getting very clear on where you're wanting to go 
Um, again, a lot of like self-care, self-love type of energy is going to give you kind of that, um, again, that passion back. So I feel like there's a lot of like positive movement forward in a personal development type of way here. And really, I feel like you're letting go of a lot of these fears and really overcoming some obstacles and challenges here so you can kind of open yourself back up and feel more like yourself again. Some of you could just be feeling more like yourself too because it is Leo season, right? So you're just feeling this like getting out of this kind of darker, kind of more, um, I don't want to say negative, but just kind of this like lower vibe type of place, but also just like releasing things that have been, again, holding you back. So... This looks really good, Leo. So that is what I have for you guys. Um, hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of um, your other signs. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.